In my opinion, uh, candidates for uh, Miniwell are uh, especially the first of all patients who really wants to be independent of glasses in most of the activities of the day. And um, as far as I know, uh, after my experience, which is not very big because uh, I always knew on the market, but it's still uh, quite an important experience, I think, uh, I noticed that maybe younger patients um, are more suitable for this IOL. Why is that? Because Miniwell offers a very good uh, visual acuity at the distance, so for driving, patients, uh, younger patients drive a lot, drive even in the night time. And also it offers um, a very good visual acuity for intermediate. These patients work a lot at the computer. Uh, they used to read uh, maybe newspapers, not in written format, but uh, on, the, on the iPhones and so on. So um, I think these are the most, um, uh, most suitable for this uh, type of IOL. Active patients, uh, maybe making some sport uh, in the daily activities, these are the most suitable for this IOL. Well, first of all, I will start with a small tip-top for the surgeons before the implantation. And <clears throat> for that, um, I would recommend, this is what I did in my practice and the patients were very happy with the results. Um, I would recommend uh, when choosing the proper uh, IOL diopter, what I do, I prefer, I choose um, emetropic for the dominant eye and a bit minus 0.25, 0.3 maximum, let's say, 0.5 uh, for the non-dominant eye. It is uh, really helpful. Of course, uh, the most appropriate um, uh, formula uh, according to the, to the um, biometric results, if it is myopic, emetropic, or hypermetropic. And uh, so this is one of the things that is important in, um, before the surgery. Uh, once uh, we are in the surgery, what I would recommend is... Um, uh, to perform, for example, if it is an astigmatism more than 0.75, it's an exclusion criteria for me. But if it is an astigmatism of 0.5 um, or 0.75, and especially if it is against the rule, I would certainly recommend to perform the incision, the main incision on the steepest axis. So that's why maybe marking in a way or another manual or with other systems, uh, marking the um, uh, steepest axis is before the surgery is important in order to make the main incision on that steepest axis. And I would even go further with that. If it is an against the rule astigmatism, so on a horizontal axis, uh, I wouldn't mind to perform even uh, at the end when implanting the iola, even a bigger incision. I usually work on two millimeters or 2.2, but if I need for astigmatism uh, lowering purposes, if I need to enlarge it, I would enlarge it at the end, the incision. So um, this, uh, this is what I think very important because uh, achieving emetropia is very important in um, adult lenses. Well, patients, are, we check the visual acuity in the first uh, post-op day, monocular and binocular, and uh, they are all very happy from the beginning, both for reading and for distance. Of course, the, the refraction is not the final one in the first post-op day, of course, but uh, the, we often have uh, some wow effects. Um, the patients are very happy, especially the ones who had uh, high diopter before the surgeries. They, are, they, saw the, they see the difference, uh, it's, a, it's a big difference, and uh, they really are amazed about the result from the first day. And, but we also noticed improvements in the visual acuity after one month and even after uh, three months uh, post-op. So there is not only the um, neural adaptation, but also maybe a more stable refraction or, of course, the neural adaptation who um, improves uh, uh, the visual acuity of the patient. So they are quite happier at the third month, after three months, uh, in comparison with the first week, let's say. In my experience, um, uh, I noticed that the patients having um, uh, mini well edof lenses are happier in terms of uh, photic phenomena. So they don't see almost at all um, glare and um, um, visual disturbances, uh, halos in the night drive. Uh, they don't have problems with um, contrast sensitivity. They can read even in. Uh, 
lower light, uh, lower illumination uh, environment. So um, in comparison with uh, some of the multifocal IOLs or trifocal IOLs. I think the newer adaptation period is uh, due to these characteristics is shorter than in the multifocal IOLs. So they are happier with the, with the results. It's a total different design. It is not diffractive at all. Its structure, its optic, has a um, central part. So this um, progressive um, passage from, the, from this uh, one to another, the three portion of the optic, the three parts of the optic, ensures a progressive uh, depth of focus. So they are not several foci, but uh, it is a continuous um, diffuse uh, uh, continuous zone of uh, focus. So that, that's why this um, lens really has a, um, and the study showed an impressive uh, good uh, um, uh, defocus curve for the patients implanted with mini IOL. So that's why uh, this um, lens assures, ensures a very good visual acuity in most of the distances, as a matter of fact, in all distances. <laughs>